going to change the air dryer filter on my truck and in my case this is it right here right behind the battery box battery box is over there on the other side of that rail a lot of trucks have them under the hood like up here some of them are mounted right in this neighborhood some of them are mounted I've seen on some trucks they're mounted back in here um, never know where they're going to put them but nowadays they got a new kind where the filters on the outside you just change the filter it's not like uh, like you have to take this thing apart on mine you got to take this blue can off of there and it's going to start with that band around the top there that's got to come off I already sprayed all those nuts and bolts with uh, WD-40 or whatever penetrating oil you like to use. I don't care. To me, they all work. And so I'm going to take all those off. And I'm going to start with, the, like I said, the band on the top. Get that off of there. And then the two bolts in the back, right down there. There's two right down there right in the center of the picture there and the one next to it those I'm going to put back on after I take all the rest of them off and take that canister off the top then I'm going to mount the base of that unit with those two bolts in the back and mount it right back on there again in my particular case I got this half inch nut off of here, off of this long bolt going through, and I'm just going to pull this out and I'm just going to flip this over up on top out of my way. And now I'm going to go ahead and take all of these out down here on the bottom. And I'm sorry I can't uh, set up the camera the boom that I use a lot of times in positions like this I'm just pushed for time and I'm gonna have to just do it like this I'm gonna take all these off on the bottom looks like there's eight of them and uh, I'm gonna put these two back in after I take this top off of here got all those bolts off now I can lift this can off of here left the two in the back over here got the nuts off but left the bolts in there got the canister off the top and now I'm gonna put another nut right back on down here I don't need both of them just one had to go in the house and wash my hands because I, I got grease on my fingers already because I don't believe in opening up a clean new box getting a part out finding out the parts wrong and having to take it back and I've torn the box up and got full of grease I don't believe in doing that I don't do I don't believe in that so if you want to read papers it comes with paperwork show you how to do this not much to it you can change your O-rings if you want to. There's probably nothing wrong with them. Put them back if you want or put the new ones in. You got some grease you can put around the O-rings when you put them in. And um, anyway, this thing just screws in with this uh, thing right here. Now I'm going to take some brake cleaner and a paper towel. I don't know if this is enough paper towel, it's a dirty one. And I got a large screwdriver pry bar and a and a fan belt. Well I cannot use the tripod because I'll be right in the way of it. Um, I'll just have to use these video glasses and unfortunately I have no way of knowing what I'm getting on there. Uh, I'm just going to wipe some of this off of here. Not that I'm trying to get the paint off. I'm just trying to get the oil off so the belt doesn't slip. 
sorry I'm not doing the best video job of this one. I did another one on video that was mounted in front of the truck and it was a lot easier to get to. I'll put a link to that video on this. Uh, I always forget which way to put the belt on there. I have to figure this out. That's going to be it right there. That'll tighten it like that. So you got to make a choker out of the belt. Push that around as far as you need to so that you can And if you're taking this thing off before you buy the new one, be sure you take care of this piece because this is one of those things where the core is worth more than the replacement part. So all they do is, is uh, clean out the, the um, what you call it in here, those little beads, desiccant. See all that oil in there? that contaminates the desiccant and a lot of oil is usually from a bad compressor well my compressor's already been replaced but maybe it didn't do such a good job rebuilding it there's a lot of oil in here nothing wrong with these rings I'm just gonna stick them back in there that's just my preference because I'm lazy I don't have the new ones in my hand. There's a purge valve on the bottom of this thing. It's self-explanatory. If you want to get a purge valve for it, you can replace that. There's nothing to replace in it. There's just like three small bolts, if I remember, directly underneath this thing. There's a couple of hoses and wires and stuff. You can do that, or you can get a purge valve kit. It has a little diaphragm in it and a couple of seals. No big deal. You don't have to be very experienced to change that or to uh, put the kit in. Either way. And you want to do everything nice and neat and right, you can take this thing and clean it up real good. You can take it off and do what you want to do. You can put that grease in there that, that it comes with on these seals. I'm not going through all that personally. I'm just going to stick these seals back on there. It'll be fine. Unless I feel a rough spot, and I thought I did there for a second. Let me wipe that off again. I do have a little bit of a rough spot here, maybe. Maybe I do need to change the seal. I don't want this thing leaking air. Uh, I guess I'll climb back out of here and go get the seal and change it. I can see the hate mail already if I leave this old seal in here when I got the new one in my hand. So there you go folks, I put a new one in there.
Yeah, it's one of them places you could have an air leak and never know why it's leaking. So you can use a strap wrench on this or a belt just like I did. It doesn't need to be super tight. Probably gonna go this way this time. That'd be tight enough for me. I'm not gonna put the screwdriver on it. May not get it off next time. Okay, now I gotta take that canister down there and clean the oil out of that. I can't use brake cleaner inside of it because it'll wipe the paint off of it. So I'll just, I'll just wipe it out. I might use a little diesel or WD-40 or something. Now I am ready to take this nut back off of here. Okay, I'm not going to tighten those down yet. I'm going to get some bolts through here and started. Everything started before I tighten anything down. Here we are underneath. I don't know how well we can see this on this video. This plug goes here. I pulled it out so I could get the impact on this nut here or this bolt here. This is the purge valve here. Just these three screws take that off. And as far as putting the kit in or replacing it, it's it's self-explanatory. You just buy it and do it. Don't need directions for that. If you need directions for that, and you probably should not be messing with it. Not that there's anything wrong with not knowing how to do it. It just might not be your strong point. When I first did it, I just looked at it and I thought, oh, okay, I see what this is. And that's all there was to it. All finished, everything put back together and tightened up. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.